minutes. I will speak actually publicly. Welcome back. I will say a few, a few words publicly, but long story short, I have three key messages to pass on to, uh, to everybody, actually. The, the, the first is that we as France are very worried by the many delays in the implementation of the December 31st agreement, very worried. This agreement, if we put things into perspective, remains the only credible way out of the crisis. The DRC authorities need to show with concrete measures their commitment to this agreement. Uh, the priority goes to the organization in the elections in six months, and there is no time to waste. Actually, this is the key message, frankly. The second message is that we are also extremely worried by the level of violence in the country and in the Kasai region in particular, which is uh, unbearable. The civilian population is paying a heavy price uh, that goes up and up. The militias need to lay down their arms and the authorities need to act to find a, pi a peaceful solution to the crisis. There is no time to waste here again. This includes fighting against the impunity uh, of violence perpetrators from all sides and frankly cooperating fully with the international experts recently mandated by the Human Rights Council is crucial in that matter and that this is one of our key priorities to answer the second concern which is the increased level of violence in the Kasais in particular. And the third message with respect to MONUSCO uh, is that MONUSCO has a revised mandate since March to act with two key priorities in mind, uh, the protection of civilians and the support to the implementation of the December 31st agreement with respect to the preparation of the elections in particular. Uh, the MONUSCO is equipped to play its part, <clears throat> but again, the DRC uh, authorities need to do theirs too. And uh, I believe the consultations we are about to have are for me and I guess for some of my colleagues, also a good opportunity to pass this message on to, on to them. So these are the three key messages, convergent messages, that I hope my colleagues will pass uh, along with me. President Macron's speech at the G20 about Africa, where he yes. said there's failed states and he said that people have too many children, it's given rise to some controversy. Has something been misunderstood about it? I mean, I know there are many, I, I've received many messages from people saying that it seemed uh, uh, an impolitic way to describe Africa. Are you, have you picked up on this at all? He gave oh, no, a widely no, of course, but no, I was not aware of that. And uh, President Macron's commitment to uh, Africa and to an enhanced partnership between the uh, United Nations and uh, not only the AU, but also uh, regional and sub-regional organizations is in Africa is, uh, is total. And so his commitment is here, France's commitment is, is here. That's why he went to uh, Gao, literally in the coming, in the, the days after his election. That's why he went to uh, Bamako a few days ago to uh, push the G5 style force uh, after the resolution uh, uh, 2309 that we uh, unanimously voted. So again, his commitment is, is uh, second to none, should I say. I think it was a statement about having too many children. Does, does France work on population? I mean, is that, is that a French position? Mm. Yeah, but uh, on this, I, I need to, to get back to you, frankly. Thank you. Thank you.